Welcome to Music Theory Logic. Andrew here, and I came across a problem with a Logic Pro file that I thought maybe uh, some of you may come across, and this might be helpful to talk about. I tried to find a video or tried to find some sort of description of exactly what I came across and did not find that. Let's go ahead into the project file so I can kind of explain it. So this, uh, this song actually was originally making it from scratch number 11, which I built. Uh, you can see the whole video of making the instrumental. I then took this and recorded vocals to it. I did a bunch of editing of the vocals using Melodyne, which is difficult on the computer. I uh, had no issues, no system override or anything like that until I added an autotune and then the project crashed. It uh, basically closed out. Logic told me it had uh, crashed due to the universal audio um, autotune which has happened in the past, but this is the strange part. I came back into the project file and I, since I fixed some of it, but if I sold out like these drums, we don't hear anything. To make everything stranger, if you were to research that, some of the first things you should check if you are not hearing any audio in Logic is to go to file preferences, audio, and make sure that whatever output you are using, like headphones or a speaker or an interface, it is selected. I'm using uh, my stream aggregate, um, which is essentially adding the mic and logic output um, together. Or um, So let's get out of that. That did not work. You could try um, clicking enable core audio and then clicking it again and going back in and seeing if that worked. It'll initiate uh, core audio, and you will see it do something, right? Initializing core audio. But that did not fix it. What, what fixed it, I still don't really understand why or how, how this would help. Let's help logic out. So let's verify that we still are not getting any audio. So no audio. Now, another thing to verify is that your plugins are working. Sometimes you'll see an exclamation mark, which is what logic tells you when it can't load the plugin. That be, could, be because, could be because you have a uh, low latency mode turned on. That could be because, could be because uh, you have some sort of problem with the plugin, like it's not where the computer expects it to be. But that's not my issue here at all. So the only thing I was able to do that actually did work is I came in here. This kick is a good example. I went reset channel strip. And even though it's literally the same and turn it on, it took a second. And it did work if I go to a command J Try it one more time. Let's try it for another layer. Let's take our full stack and reset that. Nothing. So that, uh, that did work when I was doing that. So that's the first thing I would try. Another thing I did, perhaps this is why it's not, not working. This is the original project file that did crash. What I did uh, on the way to getting it working was I saved this to an external drive and named it. Uh, that is the file that I then got back working, worked on it all today, had no issues at all. Um, so that would be another uh, thing to try. You can also give your computer a second to think about it. Still, still nothing. So we are getting some audio up there. We didn't original with the, uh, originally with the audio, but I did uh, something, so I'll show you. Hopefully it works in this scenario. So for your MIDI-based 
channels, you can grab all that MIDI, hit Command-J, which is going to join it, and then what didn't play should now play. It worked. Let's go back to our drums. Let's try. Interesting, it's not wanting the, the audio, audio tracks to turn on, but that MIDI did work. Let's see if we can do that again with this channel of 808 MIDI. It works. Cool, let's see about restoring our other 808. Nothing. All right, so another thing that you should uh, try anytime you run into problems like this is uh, restart the computer. You could leave it shut down uh, for a little bit, uh, give it some rest, say some prayers. Um, once again, it's really strange uh, for a project file to open and then just be dead like this. Uh, obviously, the file has somehow corrupted or uh, has become problematic, but fear not, I did uh, once again fully get it working. So save this, uh, do like a file, save as, put it somewhere else, uh, work on that project file, and try doing exactly what I did. Take the MIDI, you can join it. Take audio tracks, reset, uh, and then restore them uh, to like the, the basic channel strip. And then you can even hit uh, Command Z or Control Z uh, that, uh, sorry, just Command Z since Logic, you will have to be on an Apple to be using it. Uh, but on audio tracks, uh, and then you that will bring back your effects. So anyway, uh, computer problems are super, super stressful, especially if you're working in any sort of professional capacity, like you have a client, they're stressful even if uh, you're working on songs that you enjoy. It's really sad to lose a project file. I, uh, when I was first really getting into uh, producing music, a few computers before, I didn't uh, do like anything to back up my files and I lost everything um, at one moment. So highly encourage you to uh, invest in some external hard drives perhaps even a NAS network accessed storage, or maybe some sort of cloud service to back up those drives. But anyway, uh, if you come across this problem, try to join your MIDI, try uh, undoing the channel strips on the audio and then redoing them. And that did work for me, so there is hope. If you found this helpful, you would help me out a lot by subscribing to the channel. Once again, my name is Andrew, and I'd like to come uh, showcase production tips, uh, songwriting, how to make music, that stuff. But uh, stuff like this is super important because if you make music on the computer, if your computer's not working or the, the software you use to make the music isn't working, uh, you're kind of out of luck. So all of us that uh, are computer-based musicians eventually have to uh, troubleshoot that kind of stuff. So um, hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Cheers.